I'm here with head coach Alex Purble and Rhett Bearlocker after a victory over Alaska Anchorage. Coach, really a complete effort by the whole team tonight. Led it from opening tip to the final possession. You know, what does it say about the, this team to go out on a nightly basis, compete for 40 minutes, and pull out a win like they did tonight? Yeah, well, I'm really proud of these guys. You know, we've talked about it from day one this year, and we want to get better every single time out. We want to get better every game, every practice, every film session. I think our guys are taking great pride in that. I think they're really focused on the process. Uh, we know every night in the GNAC is going to be a battle. Tonight, Alaska Anchorage in particular is big and physical and tough. And so our guys needed to have an edge about them. Um, I think we came out pretty prepared. I think there's great focus on the game plan, this guy report going into it. But really, it's about the guys going out and executing. And they played team ball, like you said. They, they played together tonight and, uh, and did a great job. So very proud of them. And, and like you said, it's tough to get a win on a nightly basis in the GNAC. And you guys have put together seven in a row, which is a school record in the GNAC. Um, you know, what does it say about this team to, to stay focused for uh, that length of time? And, and can you continue to go out and just compete? Yeah, truthfully, it's not even something on our radar. Um, we're really focused on the process. I know it sounds like a you know a coaching slogan or pretty corny, but the reality is that's that's our focus. I mean, if you look at the game tonight, every possession we were trying to get better down the stretch of the game. Um, we you know we had a, a chance to bring in some players that haven't gotten as much playing time, and they were being pressed, and, and it was the same. We were trying to get better every single possession, no matter where we're at in the game, and so. Um, you know, it's great. It's great that these guys are having some success. I, I think it's it's well deserved. They're working extremely hard for it. Um, but, you know, th it's all about playing our best basketball at the end of February and into March. And I think right now we can honestly say we're getting better. You know, we're getting better each time we take the court. And that's that's really where our focus needs to continue to be. And with Coach talking about getting better on every possession, right, you go out there every, every night and put in 110%. Uh, you had 13 points tonight, three of five from beyond the arc. You know, how, how do you go out there and, and compete with that high level of energy and, and, and you're really a, a leader on this on this young Saints team? Uh, I think it comes down to everyone just doing their role. Um, everyone on our team does knows when we're first half we weren't doing as well as we should have been doing. I felt like everyone knew it and there was just a few little adjustments we made and everyone just make those little adjustments and worry about what they can do individually and it makes us better as a team. And what's it been like on the seven-game win streak? You know, I, I know you guys look at it just on a nightly basis, but you know it's been clicking for you guys. You know, what, what's that like stepping on the court and, and really going out there and competing at a top like, level? Like Coach said, we haven't really been thinking about the win streak at all. It's more like every day just coming ready to go. Um, guys just know what's expected, and so they're just bringing it. And you guys have a tough one on Thursday against Concordia. You know, very good team before you have to face one of the top teams in the country in Western Oregon. You know, how, how do you prepare for, for games like that, you know, going on the road and having to face two tough teams? Yeah, well, at this point in the season, we really need to make sure our guys are rested properly, both emotionally and physically, you know. So we're going to take tomorrow and, and recharge the batteries and get rested. Um, when we come out next week, our guys need to get that edge back. You know, we have a lot left to prove. We have a long way left to go. We don't feel like we're at our ceiling yet. Um, every game in the GNAC is, is a battle, particularly on the road. Concordia is very tough. They're very well coached. And, uh, and so we're going to have to go out there on Thursday and put together a good performance if we're going to come away with a win. Um, that's, that's where our focus is going to be. And, and uh, you know, I think, like I said, there's, there's a lot left to prove. It's six, six conference games and, and hopefully, you know, knock on wood, the GNAC tournament. And it, our guys just want to be playing our best basketball when we get to that point. Well, we will see you guys down in Portland. Did you guys take on Concordia at 7 o'clock on Thursday night? Go Saints. Thanks, Coach.